guys, welcome again to my channel. It's me, Chantel, and welcome to another episode of my How to Be a Third Maid series. So for today's video, I am going to show you how to do the weekly and the monthly equipment tests of our GMDSS equipments. So if you are ready, let's start. So the Global Maritime Distress and Safety System or the GMDSS is mandated by IMO Solace Convention. It is an automated ship-to-shore communication system and as per regulation, these equipments shall be routinely checked on board by GMDSS operators. What to do during weekly equipment test? Number 1. DSE equipment for emergency and safety purpose, if possible, to be tested by use of a test call to a coast radio station. You can look for the nearest coast stations on your Admiralty Publication 1345. Send the test call then wait for the acknowledgement. Now let's do the same to our MFHF. Make a test call to your designated coast station. Our equipments may vary but the functions should be available on your own radio. Number 2. GMDSS handheld VHF transceivers to be tested without using the mandatory required emergency batteries. Step 3. Radio batteries to be tested by means of a hydrometer where practicable or where a hydrometer cannot be used by a suitable load test. And number 4. Radio batteries to be checked for the security of each battery and its connections and the connection of the batteries and their compartment or battery locker. Additional equipments to be tested weekly include AIS, and Navtex. Now we are through with weekly, time to go to monthly equipment tests. What to do during monthly equipment test? Number 1. Float free and manual e perbs to be checked using the means provided for testing on the equipment. Check data for a periodical maintenance requirement for float free e perb 
Hold at test for around 10 to 15 seconds and wait for the flash to verify that your EPIRB is in good working condition. Do not forget to test your float-free EPIRB which is usually located on the Monkey Island. And number two, search and rescue radar transponders or SART to be checked against 9 GHz radar or X-band radar. Now we also have additional monthly tests to be done and that includes the PV test of our Inmarsat C. Now here are gentle reminders to everyone. Number one, do not forget to log the tests you conducted on the radio log. Number two, weekly tests are done in addition to daily tests. And so it goes that monthly tests are done in addition to daily and weekly tests. For those of you who might need it, I have a separate vlog for the daily tests. So I will place the link on the description box so you can go check it out. And lastly, radio log is to be signed weekly at the end of each page by Captain. That's basically it on our weekly and monthly equipment tests of our GMDSS station. So if you like my video, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget also to leave a comment down below of any video you want me to do next. And hit the subscribe button to be updated on my next videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you, it's me again Chantel signing off.